Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. Uh, let's see, 1806, Rossback Avenged. We're on the fifth turn, which is October the 14th, and we're doing the morning turn. And the French have just finished moving. Uh, <coughs> let's start down the bottom here. Uh, we have secured, after several turns of toing and froing, uh, the French lost this town here, which is called Saalfeld. And uh, we're under you know, pretty significant threat of having uh, Rochelle's uh, fourth core here really can move through this way and run amok. Ney has managed to plug that hole with uh, his sixth core. Unfortunately, that has delayed him making any push against uh, Holzendorf a little further up along the Saal River. I uh, also uh, brought down uh, the Seventh Corps just to be certain that this fairly strong fighting force does not cause any further problems. It uh, managed to uh, eliminate two uh, divisions uh, from the Fifth Corps here, and so that was a, a pretty brutal uh, combat. Uh, now, when you do exchanges, one thing I'm not sure, uh, it says that units are eliminated, and by that I'm taking uh, it to mean that they're eliminated, uh, but uh, and then the, the the for the defending side or the side uh, yeah for the defending side on the weaker side I should say, and then the guys that uh, have to uh, take equivalent losses, I've taken them down by reducing them to their re or using the reduced forces. Uh, sorry for their stuffed up sinuses. <coughs> uh, you can get a lot of a uh, lot of sleep there uh, last night. Sorry about that, had a little uh, distraction there. Uh, where were we? Losses for exchanges. And so we used the reduced units when we took losses. So here with Rochelle, uh, we had we uh, took his and Blucher and uh, Wobbeseer, uh, perhaps, uh, and you put their reduced markers in because that takes them from a 6 or a 9 or a 10 or whatever down to their reduced counter and that, uh, I think that fulfills the loss obligation. So I'm not 100% sure on how that works there. We'll see. Uh, neither here nor there at the moment, although it probably would free up one of these cores, which I don't think is going to be, excuse me, a problem because, oh boy, uh, further up the field, Along here, you know, you've got Murat is uh, just holding the line here with a couple of weak units. Uh, part of the lane's fifth is there, uh, uh, you know, fenting against uh, Hohen Loch, and up here is where the action is. Uh, here, uh, Soleil uh, managed to force the bridge on a one-to-one -one attack and uh, did a good job there. The, that allowed this turn for them to penetrate. Uh, they attacked, uh, oh gosh, I can't even pronounce that guy, what's that? Martin's, Martin's Lieben's division. They are holed up in this town here, and uh, they just bounced us right out of there. We even put uh, Bernadotte's forces in, and uh, that was a tough combat. We had to, we rolled a, a defender retreat there. But we're across the Sala River, and that's the important part there. Uh, meanwhile, we've captured this uh, uh, victory point location up there, and we'll take this one next turn. And I'm feeling like, uh, while well, there's still some fight left in the Prussians, because they have quite a few forces in the south, I really feel like this game's uh, pretty much over um, <coughs> from the perspective, uh, a couple of different perspectives. One, got a good feel for the system and uh, the combat system is pretty much as I thought it would be. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll say I'm a little disappointed in it, uh, but uh, not terribly so. I certainly like the tactical problems that you need to solve in the game. I certainly like this game in particular uh, because uh, I think with a hidden movement mechanic being used here fully and correctly, in a face-to-face -face game, this would be a fabulous game to play against each other, and I think it would go very, very quickly. The game uh, plays very, very smoothly. The command rules, uh, while I struggled with them earlier on, they are really pretty simple. And in essence, 
pretty much everybody can move unless you roll a six on uh, your command uh, if you're using the optional rule. So if you didn't use the optional rule, everybody can move and you only wouldn't be able to advance after combat. That would be the only effect uh, of uh, being out of command. Now, there is a sequencing, sequencing issue because you do move in command units first and then move out of command units second. That's going to impact you if you're trying to use road movement or road march. And that was one of the only things I had concerns with. I thought the, uh, so in terms of making sure that I got that sequencing right when I say concerns, I thought the uh, explanation of the rules of how the permanently uh, eliminated versus unrecovered -re or reorganized units were some of the worst written rules I've ever come across. It just, it's hackneyed. And even with the, uh, whoever did the updating and the errata, it's better but it's just not well done. And it may be that uh, later games in the series will have this more clearly defined and more well written and it'll be less of an issue. But I really, I basically just ignored the night turns. Uh, I went through the perfunctory supply exercise. I didn't use the night march rule. It didn't really come into play here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I, I think the game's fine. Uh, I think it's interesting. I think it's uh, beautifully done. I, um, even though the scale is kind of zoomed out a little bit, I still kind of struggle with the, the combat. And I don't feel like it's as strong as I would want it to be at this scale, uh, or as deadly as I would like it to be at this scale. I, I feel like there is more uh, permanent loss to units that is being reflected in, in the game uh, based on what I've read historically. And I am not a historical scholar of Napoleonic battles. That's why I bought these series to try and learn more. But having said all that, I enjoy it. I'm going to break out the next one and have a look at it. I've got a buddy playing uh, Leipzig at the moment and uh, he's playing more tact so the more tactical level. We'll get a nice update from him, get a feel for it, and then I'm going to bust out and play a small uh, tactical uh, scenario for uh, the OSG titles. I forget which uh, battle it is, but I'll be doing that. I was hoping to play the battle for Jena uh, at, the, at the tactical level uh, pretty soon, but I think given I've got a lot on my plate right now, I'm probably going to put uh, this... Uh, OSG uh, series on hold and just play a small uh, tactical battle at the 400 yard per hex scale to get a feel for it and then we'll, we'll uh, come, we'll cycle back and put, uh, put OSG back into the play mix as, uh, as things mature and we go from there. Uh, I would like to perhaps try and play a NBS title uh, the Napoleon's Brigade series and one of these at the same scale for the same battle and compare the two and that might be something worth having a look at at some point in the future. Alright, so if you stuck with all that and all that rambling, God bless you, you're awesome. If you didn't, you missed out. Sucks to be you. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.